Louise Pentland joins us now. Great to see you, Thank Louise. Thank you for having me. So much to talk about, but firstly, I will talk about Wild Women. Thank you. Because it's the new book. It is out today. Yes. It's the third book in the trilogy, of yes. course. Um, and it's just, I mean, it's, it's a fictional novel, but you describe it as light reading, but you, you touch on some very heavy topics. Let's I put do. it that way. I, I want to touch on heavy topics because I think women do experience those things and although it's really nice to read a light comedic book, mm. I want to read books that reflect my life a little bit and whether you're a mum or a lady going through the menopause or you're struggling in your career or just, you know, struggling in general, I want to see characters that also are facing those hurdles and overcoming them. Yeah. Um, which is why I wrote Wild Women. Absolutely. And you've drawn on a lot of your, your personal experiences yeah. and there yeah. is a character in the book called Lacey who yeah. suffers from... Uh, postnatal depression she does and you've been very open and honest about your struggle with PTSD after yes. the birth of your first after daughter. Darcy yeah, yeah she's eight now and just how that does affect you and you you find it very very helpful to talk about it and you were able yes. to do that I was eventually I think that not enough women are talking about birth trauma mm -hmm. um, I think that you have your baby and everyone says it all goes away your baby's all worth it away. Yeah, yeah that rush of love um, and I had a difficult birth and I didn't feel uh, that rush of love immediately that's not to say I don't love her to absolute bits now um, but I didn't and I felt so guilty about it that I didn't feel like I could tell people so I would really like to see those kind of discussions normalized mm -hmm. so that women can speak out and still know that they're good mums and they love their babies and that it's going to be fine and there's help available yeah, and it's going to be them. fine being and it the will be okay. it. and it is and I had Pearl a lovely water birth and I felt m much better from it and had a lovely experience with her and it's it's all turned out all right now yeah. but I do think we need to normalize those conversations of we do. well the irony is you find social media as actually a really nice platform to help yes. with that kind of a struggle a lot of people yes. are obviously the opposite and um, but you find that as a great way to to have conversations with I with did. others but of course this platform has created this incredible life for you Louise we, we mentioned I was some not of the... expecting this I, well I guess not I mean you you started blogging and talking about your life and suddenly you're interviewing Kim Kardashian <laughs> as you do went to the Vatican went inside walked out of the room George Clooney was there I mean it's not a bad day at the office is it Louise it was a bit weird <laughs> a bit it was weird. a bit weird <laughs> well another one was Prince Charles also a great day a great day and a terrible day um because um, I was there to talk about a charity and literacy and literacy and children and I just had the baby and you know what it's like when you think I'm back to my pre-self yeah. and I put this skirt on that was a pre-baby skirt and I was like that's a bit tight but I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, I can do the suck in the belly in. Well it wasn't, it wasn't okay and I stood next to Prince Charles and I went <gasps> and it just burst, oh, no. it just burst and then I panicked I went oh my god Charles my skirt's broken and then he's looking for the button and I'm looking for the so button. So Prince Charles is actually like, looking for the well, button. It wasn't the on the floor but he was having a look, it was very nice about it and I thought what a lovely man. Very gentleman. Um, but I do think this is the future king of England and instead of me putting my best foot forward about literacy and you know <laughs> child literacy I'm just like bah! A uh, story of my life, really. It was probably quite refreshing. I'm just for glad him. to be all in today. <laughs> yeah, it's all safe. <laughs> <laughs> and Camilla, we saw there too. And you were very fond of her, actually. She was so nice. I think sometimes you have this impression that the rules are quite distant people that you you don't know much about and they're not friendly. But they were so lovely. I would have them for dinner. They were mm. just really nice. And she's really passionate about her charities. Yes, they they, they do believe very much in yeah. it. And Megan, I guess, would probably be on the hit list next. Yeah. I would love Megan yeah. and Kate. Um, they are wonderful. I, I just love what they do. I think the royal family have just come on leaps and bounds in the last decades. Yeah. And I think they're such brilliant ambassadors for our country and the work they do, I just think it's brilliant. Yeah, well, look, like we say, let's keep the conversation I going. I might send them a copy of my book. Well, I was going to say, yes, Wild Women, Maybe it is... could read it on maternity. Absolutely, <laughs> yes, it is out today. It's great to see you, Louise. Thank, Thank you so you much. And Strictly me. might come calling, I believe. That could be the next thing for I you. Joe Suggs did it last year. He did, and he was great. Bring <laughs> it on, Louise. Good luck with it. Thanks Thank so you. Much. Thank, Thank you. you.